Roberto, yes? Yes. Uh, how Hi. many times have you taken part in the In this in Malta? Festival? Four years. This is the fourth year? Yeah, I was here in the 2020 when there was the full on COVID. Oh, very yeah, nice. Yeah, we did the, the drive through festival and as well. every year you bring something different? Of course, I have to. Or I add something to the old things from last year. Last year I had two bowls. This year I put the third one on. Beautiful. So you make these bowls yourself? Uh, yeah, but we are an association actually. We are not. Okay. Uh, it's not only me. Okay. And how do you uh, make this kind of different kite to the other? Because it's like a bowl. <laughs> this, uh, this is a very well-known kite, but we try to make it so it could fly high a bit, spin faster. So it's a good, jo it's a good toy for the children. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can see how they uh, yeah. are very, very colorful and beautiful. We are, we are also very careful because sometimes children of either course. break the kites or break themselves. Uh, where do you come from? I come from Italy in the city of Cervia. Okay, and how long have you been uh, involved in kite making? Ooh, 41 years. What fascinates you about kites? I don't know. As soon as I met them, in my life, I felt I probably, probably my past life was in Japan, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you f uh, do kites and fly them regularly in Italy? Or? Oh yeah, we take part at about uh, from 10 to 20 kite festival all over one year, from uh, abroad or inside the country. Like uh, at least seven of them, eight of them are inside Italy and we go all around. Most of them are international though. I went to Indonesia two times. Uh, wow. I went all over the world anyway in these years. What do you think about ARP festival? This festival, it's good. It's good. It's uh, very nice. A lot of people, a lot of kite flyers. These kite flyers are some of the best around the world. Really? Yeah, they okay. are. Okay. They are uh, all of them uh, make their own kites, they don't buy kites, they make the kites, uh, there are engineers, there are really good people. Fantastic, thank you very much for yeah, your time. You're welcome, thank you. thank you for having us, our guest here in Malta. Thank Gozo. you. Gozo, thank but you. it's Gozo. always Malta. Of Dan il mot primitif ta relazioni ta l-bnide ma oġetti tir min dejjem holok fascinu. U fejn għal-uħut waqaf matfulitna għal-uħrajn serva ta' inspirazzjoni u zviluppi ta' talenti fl-arti, fl-inġinerija u fil-dinamika ta' dan il-proċess. Għaw atmosfera vera ta' biħa għaffarti da' wittajr kolla jtiru wissa l-lejla għal ta' rahu da' warajja jisir bonfire Tisaw t-immaġinaw għaw fej l-irdum tal-arp li jikollok ovvjament pjanura miftuħab qaldi probabilment din il-ħudġirġa jissa satkun et-tidel mil-villaġġi l-uħra ta' għawgħex. Hello Andreas, nice to meet you. And thank you for coming to Malta, to Gozo. I already see you have the Arab Local Council. Is this your first time? This is my first time in Malta and Gozo for that matter, yes. What made you come? <laughs> well, um, the kite community is small, so when the organizer was asking me to come, I was very happy, especially because I have never been to Malta. So that's why I was coming very good. and was. You have favorable weather and yes. good winds, and your kites are flying beautifully. Thank you very much. Yes, that's what we are after, really. You need good weather and then you have all these people coming, all the happy screams from the children. That's really what motivates me to give my best to put on a good show. You 
design and make the kites, I heard. What goes into designing a kite and how did you grow into designing kites? Yeah, it's, uh, what goes in? Uh, a lot of pain and a lot of hours. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, what motivates me is to put some good show on the sky, so to put color on the sky. So uh, usually I design it on the computer and then many, many hours to try to make it fly as I want it. Okay. And uh, then you just need to realize it and many hours on the sewing machine to make the kites. So do you actually make them yourself? Yes. Or you, yeah. you sew yeah. them yourself? Yeah, exactly. So you design them yeah. and you sew yeah. them? Does that take um, learning from someone oh, or yeah. is it an acquired skill? Well, uh, in my case, my mother was actually learning or teaching me how to sew when I was this yeah. tall, very small. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So she taught you how to sew. Yeah. But what about designing? Who taught you how to design kites? Yeah, I'm an engineer, so I um, kind of was always interested in things that fly. And uh, kites is an obvious one. When you're young, you see kites flying in the autumn season. So that's how I got into kites. And, you know, the first ones, they are obviously bored. And then you try to figure out why they fly. And then eventually you want to make it your own. Of course, which you did. I can beautifully look at the way the tail is of yeah. the mantra and can understand the airflow, how yeah. you're yeah. creating that airflow. Yeah. And obviously it's not a matter of just um, them flying in the sky while you're pulling. They're actually, you have to probably figure out the weight they need and yeah. to, for them to remain there. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah, you, it change depending on the wind yeah, strength? Yeah, so you want to anchor it somewhere, you want to tie it to the ground and you usually in a in strong wind you need a car for example or a truck because they pull a lot when it is getting stronger. This is still very light wind so in this wind you only need a, you know, a few rocks and some sand to hold it down. Do you do this for a living? No, now? no. I used to. I, I used to work in New Zealand for a company that makes this as a business okay. uh, a long time ago before I was going to university but no I don't do it for a living anymore so you do it as a hobby yes yeah very yeah. good well thank you very much I hope we see you again in the next years with the different with different creations. designs I would very much look forward to thank, thank you, you very, very much. much thank you <laughs>Dejt nog veel cheer, ik kan cheer bij ze naar dat ik het daar bier ik. Per ogen doen hij helemaal zo maus, zeg maar maltij, ja, nou. Allora, allora, at why not? Nu dan hebben we het daar in, dat maar maltij, we zullen het maar daar willen doen, ja, nou. Imagine, het daar het daar abelet met de kont. Met de kont zijn best, ja, maar wat je nou met aan met tafel naar zomer met daar is daar, je vriend, nou dat hebben we hebben we festival zielo. Oh, kijk daar lint. Um, <laughs> و عمل توم. وبدأت تعلم ولو من جوتان كاتيل توم إنتي. نهيت نهيت توم يينا في الفاتة هلا الكتار فاشنو بتكون أتنهيت توم. البقية مش جاية بقولك كل سات فاشنو. عشان إنتي تنسي شو بيشتمل دي كان دخفنا دروينج ديسيني بتعمل. إما عند اللي قالوا لي لين تكون في سيلينج. آه ينا كون كون سيلينج ما بعت الدش ده. أه رحنا في موفيمنت على الورا وان كده أو ده وتت تيومر فول شيب بيش بيش يتلا وتتكون تف كيف كيف تجاست يا البرايدلز على الورا شين كلا تف مول لك لجنبا يو نو وتوه سنبرا من مالتا وكل إيه في بامور أمور ينا وكل تاجي فيري كل الشورت اللي قبل كوفيد مورتلين ديا جي فيري أمور أمور حفنا درا بالإيطاليا برضو زمبل جمال وحركنا فولينيو 
o me folin jo Jawawelo eden mana you know It's a good community na xetu ko se vada talaje talaje The local traveller would like to thank Visit Gozo, Motopoint, Gazan Mamo Insurance, Enemed, Mecca Marine, Highfield and Mercury, Ministry for the Environment, European Funds and Lands, and Ministry for the Environment, Energy and Enterprise. We would also like to thank Ministry for Gozo, Visit Malta, Coca-Cola, and Neoderma.